Hey guys, welcome to Atari 37. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Transformers uh, Bot Bots. And these are pretty cool, so I found these today. And um, yeah, basically they're like little tiny collectibles and they transform. Obviously, they're Transformers. Uh, only instead of like cars or planes, they kind of just like this one as a donut. So there's a lot of cool stuff that these do. And um, honestly, they're just kind of interesting. So I thought I'd pick them up. We got some cool artwork at the top. We have two modes Transformers Bot uh, Bots. Bots. Um, then we have like a clear view of them. We have some of the pictures of the characters and the mystery one. And um, yeah, I just want to say for the price point, I think it's pretty cool that you get like five of these for nine dollars. I think that's actually a pretty uh, cool idea that they did there. On the back, there's some artwork. And um, yeah, let's open this up. So here we have them. And um, yeah, this one's like a shampoo bottle. It's pretty cool. It's got like some water and bubbles and it has blue and white and it's pretty neat and it transforms uh, pretty easily. All of the transformations on these are fairly simple, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, you just got to pull this back and down a little bit hard to get that out there. And then this folds around, rotates, uh, you gotta bring the legs out too. And these just like flip down I believe. And uh, yeah, it looks very cool. I think these are really kind of like intended to be collectibles and stuff, or you know, just really made for kids. And I think they did a kind of cool job with this. It kind of reminds me of a lot of those other kind of collectibles things that they're doing at the moment, but this is pretty cool. Then there's the donut one, which I think is pretty neat. And one thing I like about these is they don't necessarily transform into the traditional transformer things. They're kind of different, and I like this. Um, the face, I believe, is actually supposed to roll up and cover sprinkles, but I can't figure out how to do that. Mine is kind of stiff, so um, yeah, that's a little strange. But basically, you just break apart the arms, and you would flip that down, and then you pull the legs down. So very simple, and um, yeah, I think overall they're pretty cool. Again, I like the idea of them not transforming and traditional things that's pretty cool and then you have like the spray paint can which um, is pretty cool looking and you can kind of transform him back I also like the purple and blue paint that they used it looks pretty neat and you just flip that all the way up and then he's a spray paint can and uh, yeah and then there's this watch which I think looks the coolest and um, is probably the neatest in terms of its design for like you know what it's supposed to be I think it looks good it's got 1984 Autobot symbol, and then it has a uh, half, well, mostly charged. I wonder if 1984 is probably supposed to be a reference to something. Not entirely sure what, but that's pretty cool if it is. Then you swing that up and you reveal the face, and then these swing out and become the arms. And then where are the legs? There's the legs. You pull the legs out, and uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty neat transformation as well. I like how it kind of does this. Um, the back of this watch is a little strange, but yeah, it's pretty neat. And I like the detail on the eyes and stuff. And um, yeah, and there's this mystery one, which is pretty cool. It's green and gray. Not really sure how to transform this 100%. Uh, but figuring that out at the moment. It's a little bit hard to separate the arms and stuff, but once it comes out, it's pretty cool. He's got a blue eye. Uh, this one's just all kind of closed up. That's a little strange, but he has a mouth. And um, yeah, they did a pretty good job of it. And there is some articulation, like this does rotate 360. The legs don't really move. They do, but that just folds them back up. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this line is kind of interesting. Again, it's like some of those other kind of toys that um, come in like blind bags and things. And it's just a pretty unique thing, uh, pretty unique thing. Um, you know, if you're like a really into collecting of uh, these, you might like it, you might not. It just depends on your preference and stuff. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. Um, my favorite thing is that they just don't really turn in traditional things. I kind of like that. Kind of makes it a little bit different. Um, but that could probably be a problem for some people that really prefer the more traditional stuff. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it's pretty neat. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.